Well, one of the things I learned from horses is that uh, sometimes you gotta let go. And uh, for me, one of the most memorable and vivid examples was a time that I, uh, I took uh, Sonny here. We were going up over the Rincon Mountains here to the east, and we were in a beautiful, beautiful area called Happy Valley. We had been riding for a couple days, and we were coming up and over the crest of the Rincons, and then down towards home. Came up over the top, there was this huge storm coming in. You know, at first we thought, well, if we get down fast enough off this mountain, we'll be okay. But before we knew it, we were in some bad rocks and the storm was just coming up the mountain so fast. And we were just caught in a whiteout. And in fact, it started raining and it started snowing and uh, we couldn't see where we were going at all. And we were in a, in a real bad place. We knew that we had to get off this mountain. We couldn't go up and we couldn't go down because we were in these rocks. And I tried my best to get the horse to move forward but I couldn't see the trail. And uh, I just remember for a moment feeling really, really in peril. And, uh, and then I heard this voice that said, just let go of the reins. And the first time I heard it, I kind of ignored it. But I realized what a dilemma we were in. And again, I hear this voice that says, uh, just let go of the reins. So I did, I just put the reins right here on Sonny's neck and I held on to the saddle, the horn there and I just let go. And Sonny just started picking his way through those rocks. I could hear him clumping and hitting the rocks with his hoofs, but I had no idea where he was going. And we came down in the storm like this for the better part of an hour. I have to tell you, my heart was in my throat. I had no idea where we were going. And then all of a sudden I hear this, this thud. And then I hear another thud. And then I realize it's, it's Sonny's hoofs and we're on this wooden bridge, and this bridge is about 50 yards from where we had parked the truck and the trailer. And somehow he had gotten us all the way down this mountain, uh, back to safety. It was one of the most remarkable experiences I ever had, um, because I had to completely trust the horse and let him be the leader, and at the same time, uh, you sort of had the feeling there was a bigger force that was taking care of both of us and getting us down to safety. But, but I'll never forget that, that first hoof that hit, the, uh, hit the, the wooden plank on the bridge and just was like, you know, we're, we're home. I practically was in tears. And, uh, and there we were back down at the parking lot and uh, safe and sound.